let us now look at uh, this question. There was another good one. It wasn't Chip Reed. It wasn't Chuck. Uh, here we go. Uh, clip 20, Chuck Todd. Hello? It seems that you've made the case on the technical issues. But on shore, mm -hmm. Admiral Allen admitted the other day in the White House briefing that they needed to be pushed harder. Mm -hmm. Senator Mary Landrieu this morning said it's not clear who's in charge, that the government should be in charge. Why not ask BP to simply step aside on the onshore stuff, mm -hmm. make it an entirely government thing? Obviously, BP pays for it. But why not ask them to just completely step aside on that front? And then also, mm -hmm. can you respond to all the Katrina comparisons that people are making about this with yourself? I'll leave okay, it to you now, guys. Ho, ho, ho. Don't, don't run the answers right away. So that's Chuck Todd. I don't know who he is. I don't know who he works for. But he asked a good question. And here's the answer from the president. I'll leave it to you guys to make those comparisons and make and make and make judgments on it because because what I'm spending my time thinking about is how do we solve the problem. Um, did, and you, when hold problems, on. did you catch that again? Did you catch that slippery uh, dance that he just did again? Instead of answering the question, he says, I'm trying to solve the problem, but he won't answer the question. It's called a press conference. It's not a technical conference. We didn't ask him how to solve the problem. The press was asking him why he hasn't done anything yet. And he's answering, well, we're looking at how to do it. This is 38 days later. It's 38 days later, and the government has done nothing. The Louisiana, the, fe the government in Louisiana, uh, in Louisiana has been begging for the right to go out there and start building the sand berms and the, uh, the uh, Environmental Protection Agency, so-called, and some of the other dunce agencies that have no valuation whatsoever, is saying, oh, no, we're still studying the issue while the oil is killing the seabirds, the clams, the mussels, and the shrimp. Incidentally, all of you uh, liberals on the Upper East Side of New York who have uh, taken up uh, seafood now that your father has passed away, uh, shellfish in particular, all of those of you who, since your parents have passed away, are now allowed to eat shell shellfish, the price of shellfish is probably going to triple over the next few months because a good portion of the seafood in the United States of America comes from the Gulf. So don't assume because you wear Manalos uh, and you go to Monticello, you're going to you know, not be touched by this. You're going to be touched by this. And I don't mean Monticello, New York, by the way. Savage.